Hello everyone. So as you can see, this is the day of Rhythmic L12. Um, I've been running my uh, Yamaha and uh, POC uh, 3.0 setup for almost like 8 months, 9 months. I had ordered in uh, Yamaha uh, subwoofer once and they turned out to be bad. Now I uh, got this Rhythmic uh, L12 after a lot of recommendations and search. Um, this came via FedEx just uh, in the afternoon today and as you can see and as you can see that uh, I'm not particularly happy that with music, the that music means I'm not very happy with the packaging as you can see there are a lot of cracks uh, in the packaging you can see here as well so um, FedEx if I have to say did a pretty poor job in uh, transitioning it so um, I'm hoping that the things inside should at least be uh, be fine so we'll get started now we'll uh, do the unboxing of this and I'll go through the setup and after the setup we'll play some test tracks and see how the performance is overall I have not seen any uh, rhythmic L12 unboxing on YouTube so this will be the first um, review and unboxing so let's get started all right so let's uh, unbox this uh, this this item so my daughter is gonna help me with that um, I uh, uh, this is one interesting thing I saw so it says assembled in USA rhythmic audio it might have been in a USA company but this uh, piece is directly shipped from China um, since this is a lockdown phase, uh, in the lockdown phase, uh, um, the we ha I had ordered it in the March, and uh, I had made the full payment too. But after that, since the lockdown came, uh, it took way longer than usual to to reach uh, to my place. Um, I think, uh, I, and it came straight from from China. So, yeah, let me open it up. So, yeah, I just, uh, let me, oh, wow, this is good. Oh, there are like multiple packings. Believe, who's going to believe that? Look at the multiple levels of packing it's got. I think there's a box inside the box. So, let me take that out and, and, and oh, that's the book. That's um that might be that might be useful so I'll I'll go through it. Yeah. So let me let me try and take it out and I'll I'll, I'll come back again. So they had they had that box in this box. So else it's a good good packing. Uh, pretty safe so uh, getting um the whole packaging done in another cartoon. I just took this out. I think this is the power brick. Let's go ahead and take the woofer out of out of this as well okay let me take the foam, the foam out yeah so the foam is out that's a pretty thick foam look at that isn't it looks good and here is the woofer in the box. It's going to require both of my hands. So I'm going to turn the video off again, uh, take it out and then come back again. So the unboxing is done and this is the Rhythmic L12 in its full glory. Um, very squarish design and uh, this front grille comes off. Let me just take it off and I'll show you. Uh, it's not very tight nor very soft so it's got a perfect uh, grip to it so this is L12 uh, speaker in, in its full shape um, I call it pretty nice I think there is a rhythmic branding here as well and at the top too and there is a rhythmic branding at the bottom of the, gr of the grill the grill is kind of soft cloth material seems a little risky um, anything can can damage it so we may have to be very careful with it so let me put it back on again 
I just hope I'd be able to do it with my single hand because in my other hand I'm holding the camera. So guys, I'm not a professional YouTuber. I just uh, do these out of uh, out of out of excitement and curiosity. Um, I don't make videos. I don't make money out of these videos. <laughs> so uh, please uh, uh, bear with me. So here are the back controls. Um, I'm glad to see that there are both uh, power options. There is a good serial number. Uh, let's see. What the, what the close options are uh, these are the tons of options that I'm going to play with to make this speaker uh, make this subwoofer come alive um, overall I think the size is not too big not too bad um, perfect for a sealed subwoofer now I'm gonna try placing it either at this corner or this corner so there is a guitar uh, here, I'm going to make certain arrangements to push the speaker a little right and uh, put the subwoofer here and after that we'll see how the settings is. Um, overall, uh, this is my uh, listening distance, close to 10 feet I believe, 8 to 10 feet, so it's not too much. Um, let me go ahead and place it and set it up and after that I'll, I'll come back. Oh, I totally forgot about uh, this little box that I had opened from from it. So let's see what it has. Oops. You have to be careful. Oh, I'm sorry. So I think that was one of the feet. Uh, thank you. So yeah, this is one of the feet. Uh, good. Uh, this uh, the feet grip seems pretty strong. So should be should be good. Vicky, can you please hold this for me? One second. Thank you. Let's go ahead and uh, open all the items from this box. Alright, so... Huh. And and we got everything Why from do this. I have an American plug? That's not acceptable. Mm. And then the remaining four fits. I'm gonna go and talk to the Papa. to the dealer, yes. Hello, I'm gonna talk to the dealer and figure out why there's an American plug in here. And um, that's not accepted. Alright, let me go ahead and, and talk to the dealer once and I'll come back. So I'm back with uh, my complete setup I've um, I've installed the subwoofer here as you can see before here I had tried to position the subwoofer in between this um, front left and and the and the cabinet and before that I had tried here so this was my first preferred position um, here it was okay um, this place was okay too but this position is giving me the best uh, performance so far now I still don't think this is the ideal I mean this is the best position this is a good position so far from all the three that I have tried I have not done any room EQ or room setup it's just like a plain bland uh, you know um, hall that where it has been set up uh, and and this is uh, my room is, is big enough like from me the distance is around uh, I believe 9 feet or so 9-10 feet of uh, listening distance and it's in it's in direct sight or direct listening point of me I did try to run uh, the Y power calibration from Yamaha it it threw everything off the charts I mean it messed up my whole settings so I had to redo um, redo the I might go ahead and add the screenshots of the results from after the wipeout. So I, I had to redo all of these configurations to bring it back to a workable situation. So, so far this is my current setup. Uh, if you do not know, uh, this is the Yamaha 585, um, POG S30, POG S55 towers and a Rhythmic L12 uh, uh, sealed subwoofer. I'm going to go ahead and play some test tracks in this. Um, I'll try to fit in the screenshots from wipeout somewhere before or after this um, like I would mentioned I'm no 
pro video editor <laughs> so my pre uh, my video editing skills going to be really bad but i'll try to give you guys information which you can relate to uh, of what all what all things i have done so let's let's uh, go ahead and do a quick testing um as um, i'll i'll mostly do a testing from youtube videos um, it's been decent enough G will give you a good idea of uh, what uh, testing is like so first we'll do a subwoofer test let's go to a subwoofer test and um let's find something good anything good to test uh there was one song that i had seen uh, um yeah let's try this one it's a pretty long but we won't play it for that long we'll try and test it out uh, for a maybe a minute i'll in the minute uh, i'll try to keep the subwoofer on and off at various stages and and let you guys uh, feel the difference i'm not sure how much of a difference you can feel but yeah let's see so let me get started here it go let me grab my let me increase the volume a bit Alright, so this is one of the test. Um, I I try to keep quiet so that you guys can understand uh, what the results are uh, looking like. Uh, there was a visible difference in uh, in using sub or not using sub, which is expected. Of course, there is a sub that's so going to make certain impact. The overall bass that is coming out, it's a solid bass, but I am. Uh, not getting the optimum results from it and that could be my configuration again guys uh, do not judge this uh, l12 um, test with this uh, speaker right now which i've got um, but um, there is a definite chance that um, the setup isn't really optimum for us to be uh, uh testing it out properly but yes it will give you an idea of uh, what it is like let me try to play a, a trailer i remember i had tested out with the uh, geostorm trailer and that was pretty good so let me search it out the voice search of um uh, this is typically works geostorm trailer so let's try to play the geostorm trailer and that will that's that's like a two and a half minute long trailer we'll see if we play full or not um, and uh, there you go the senate committee now here from jacob lawson climate iss chief coordinator may the record reflect that he was nearly one hour late yeah sorry about that i literally had to fly in from outer space thanks to the system of satellites natural disasters have become a thing of the past can control our weather. Mr. President, one of our thermospheric satellites malfunctioned over Afghanistan. So your proposal is what? We shut down all satellites. I don't need to remind all of you how many people died from catastrophic climate conditions. Make sure there's no further incidents. Are you going back up to space? Come back. I promise. Have a safe trip, sir. Just don't touch anything. Baby, please stop. Jake Lawson. The Jake Lawson? You're with Joe, depending on what it's I mean, you mean good. I can't find it. My access is the blocked. 
So Sally has a bad car that happens. Not me, Sally. Oh. This wasn't an unfortunate. It was intentional. There's potential for catastrophic weather events on a global scale. A geostorm. All right, so um, that's. We have to shut the system down. All right, so that was the Geostorm trailer. Um, a quick review: the effects were loud and very loud and clear in in this uh, trailer. The Overall, I mean, let me. I'm gonna go ahead and play one more um, um, test track for um, you guys to uh, get a more clear idea. So let's get a no copyright uh, thing. Let's get this one. Alright, so that's uh, about all the tests that I had to do. The testing is complete. Let me go. Let me go ahead and show you the settings that I've got uh, in my uh, Yamaha for uh, this for you guys to understand. So let's go to setup. Uh, hope you guys can see it. Let me get closure to uh, to the television. So the configuration. This is what I'm using. I've set both uh, fronts and centers to small. Now, um, I was using fronts as uh, large earlier, but uh, when I set it to large, the subwoofer blend is not that great. So I have set both the fronts to small, and that is letting subwoofer blend to happen very, uh, very nicely. Uh, crossover is 120 hertz. Just that I want to have all the lower frequencies really be used by the by the sub, and not to be done with this. I tried with uh, 80 and 100 and and higher. So 120 was was like a perfect blend for me. Then I tried with uh, normal and reverse. Both the phases reverse is giving me much better performance. And extra bass is on because I kind of like using the extra bass. Um, I have, if you guys see, I have made certain changes in the in the performances. With the fronts and centers, uh, front, left, and right, and center are on a higher up, and so is subwoofer. Um, but, just that it's giving me the right blend so I kept trying with multiple uh, plus minus numbers for all all four of them and this ended up giving me the right uh, um, right uh, output so that's that's the configuration that I've that I've done I will give you the I can mention wipe our numbers as well and that will tell you what has been the the r difference in this let me do a quick summary of of my experience um, this is fantastic for for songs um which is what is what it is expected to be right all the sealed uh, do a great job for songs and you need ported for music ported for movies um i was i kept on reading it all through the blogs and all through the internet but after installing this one i'm really feeling why people say that when they say that it gives me a very tight connected uh, base for uh, music listening and because that it is exists that nicely for music listening it has um, it blends pretty well with with the whole setup that I have got uh, for movies it's it's effective but not to that level um, which is natural and I was okay f okay with that I wasn't really expecting to shake my room uh, when a bomb blast or anything has happened so I'm pretty happy with the output that I'm receiving for movies uh, right now with this a little bit more would have been better but again like I mentioned remember this this configuration my room configuration is not ideal as yet and I need to go ahead and do a room config uh, completed to get the optimum results but so far I believe this is uh, going along pretty well now this is my only subwoofer rhythmic L12 
so i do not know how does it compare with the other subwoofers out there in the market but um, i'd believe uh, i believe it's doing justice i mean <laughs> there are a lot of other users who have who have uh, sung praises for how good this sub is and um, i just bought it it was a blind buy for me i just bought it because everybody has been all over the internet praising how good it is so i'm hoping that it turns out to be as good as people say it is right so um again so far happy good good in, good uh, um, tool to be plugged in with my whole setup um and, and it's improving with every passing day um uh, it's getting better and better um and um, results are are satisfactory so um, i'll i'll post again another video after some time if i do see any difference in results um it's going to get better from here on um, that's what i'm expecting and uh, even if it continues to be what it is right now i think i'm i'm pretty happy with it uh, though i wouldn't believe that i would have liked to go ahead and listen to other subwoofers um to see what exactly the difference is um uh, my experiences have been with with one yamaha sw50 which was real bad and with this uh, rhythmic l12 which is a pretty good mid range uh, sub so other than these two I haven't listened to others and i wouldn't know how they compare to others so that's that's about it of uh, my configuration and my experience with rhythmic l12 um ask me any questions and i'll try to answer them um, in the in the comments and uh, i'll try to post more videos in the future once i have had more experience or configuration done for it so uh, thank you for your time and uh, you guys enjoy your music